Hello and welcome to another 100% Yakuza 3 Trophy Guide video. In today's video we're going to talk about Pro Gamer Achievement. And we're going to be playing Box Elios, which is part of that achievement, but it's also part of the Minigame Master. And it'll show you how to uh, essentially get the Box Elios Minigame high score that you need to get. And we'll start off with the Pro Gamer Achievement tr Trophy situation that is basically you have to get 10 the little fuzzly cuddly toys out of the UFO catcher machine and for the minigame master you have to actually catch all of the UFO capture things and I think I've got a video on that so I'll be not discussing that as much in this one but essentially you need 10 of those and you need the high score on Box Elios and the high score is level 50 and it's no easy task with the UFO capture, never mind Box Elios, but Box Elios if you learn where to position your craft, where to aim, where to shoot, you're going to have a better time and I think I get up to level 84, 83 on this. Um, essentially you need to hit the coloured block but it's so difficult to like decipher where the block is on the machine or whatever the robot thing is or the box or whatever we're calling it so I had to decipher that because it's in 3D but it's like a 2D motion so it's like it's, it's really weird um, but you want to stay as far right as possible if you can see me now I'm, I'm aiming right straight off the bat don't be shooting until you get right up close to the side of the enemy and then as you can see you one bomb a lot of these bots by being right up close but if you if you start shooting before that that kind of thing happens and you lose a lot of time so you need to be right up on the right blast it as you can and you'll probably get the one bomb off on it maybe a two bomb um, Essentially, if you don't do that, you're not going to make the high score, so you need to be as far right as possible on the screen, attack when you are going to hit that middle block, basically, and that, that is the best advice I can give you on Box Elios. It's, it's not an easy game, it's, it's an easy game to play, it's not an easy game to get the high score, so you might spend a few tries doing this, I spent quite a few tries. Uh, I think it was pretty pissed at the time, but it was it was alright. <laughs> it was good. It was good fun. I mean, it's, it's, it's the sort of game that I'd never play uh, in general, so... It was something completely different to me, especially in Yakuza as well, because you usually have to play like... Uh, not Street Fighter, but something similar. Or something very, you know, samey to that, like shooting or fighting or whatever, but this one is uh, some crazy sort of alien craft getting bodied by some other alien craft. But since we've got time, I might as well go into the UFO capture as well. Um, since you only need 10 for this, it's really easy to just get 10 and be done with it. Uh, but for, for the minigame master, you're going to need the high score on this, so I think it's level 50. I'm pretty sure it's level 50 that takes you into the high score on this. If you go over that, you, you, you start flying again because after 50 it's sort of like half resets and it's a lot easier. Um, as you can see, I've, I've smashed it here. Absolutely smashed it. 12 seconds left and we're nearly at level 50. Um, but the UFO catcher, it's like sometimes it'll grab, sometimes it won't. So if you think it's perfect, it probably was perfect, but the game doesn't want you to win. <laughs> so, essentially what I do is go for that perfect grab. Usually it's where the ears are, and it'll just lock in, and you'll be able to pick it up. Sometimes it doesn't work. There's so many differing sizes and stuff, you really need to see it to understand it. Um, but essentially with the UFO catcher, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a video about that, but you need I think is it twenty five? I'm gonna go with twenty-five in total. Can't remember. There's there's quite a lot of them. 
Um, a lot, there's loads of small ones, loads of big ones. I'll leave a list in this other video. And there's one that only shows up in Theatre Square Sega uh, Arcade. Whereas the rest are sort of in between both. You'll you'll notice you you'll you'll go in, you'll capture whatever you capture, and you'll notice certain things aren't popping up in your list. So get what you can get. And then you'll see on my videos you probably see the second set of in the theatre square instead of the Namakichi, I think it is. Sega arcade. Um, but yeah, in the theatre square one there's a there's a set of I think they're called Pioko birds. And there's one big bird in the middle and then surrounded by a load of little birds. Under the big bird is the black bird, which was the last one I got, and I think I show it in the video, but you're gonna need those as well. Uh, you, well, you're gonna need to get that, but they they only spawn in Theatre Square, so be be mindful of that. Boxelios itself, you can do it, just practice. It's the same with anything in this game, just do it, practice. You'll have a great time, I'm sure, losing your mind on mini games, but uh, it gets better. It gets better. It's a tricky one, though. The thing with Box Alias as well, like, you can see the timer doesn't go down. I think you have a two second leeway every time the round starts, so you can, you can smash through certain rounds. So it's not too bad, but that is a huge high score compared to the others. 47 is the high score, so basically 50. I think 50 you have to get to for the minigame master. But beating the high score at like 47 or whatever gets you the trophy. So thank you very much for watching. And peace out.